Yo, today's a banger. I got a pack of glass shapes for you for free. What? And I'm gonna show you how to do them. You can use these glass shapes on your works. You can see how I did it. It's a pretty cool effect and an easy way to spice up a simple artwork. So link in the description. You go to Dropbox and you download this PSD file. Now, don't be scared when you open it. It's really simple. Here are all the shapes. And to get rid of my artwork, which is basically a tutorial, if you have any problems, hit me up on Instagram. What you have to do? You have to double click this layer. You will get transported to this file. Now all you have to do is add your own artwork and delete my picture. Now you have to close the project and hit yes. Because if you don't hit yes, it not, it's not gonna work. It's gonna take a little bit to load. And now you back transport it to the main project. You open up this group and you see all these shapes. I've made some shapes myself, so they're not the best, but you know, I'm just started on the Illustrator, it's not that easy. But I tried to make some interesting shapes, so hopefully you like them. Yeah, you can move them, you can move them around and you see the effect still works. You can, you can rotate them. If you want them to work, you can even du duplicate them, hold Alt, you see. And if you want them to work with each other and you want to flip them so somehow, you go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. And now you see, you can add them on top of each other. I added shapes such as this weird line, this box, if you want to, for a sample pack, you know, a ba basic square with rounded edges. You can also flip it into a rectangle. Then you have this little shape that, that you can use as a little accent. If you have an artwork and you want to add like sample pack by 44, you just put this little detail and just write this information here. We got this shape, we got a simple circle, basically a bunch of weird shapes that you can work with each other. So once you added the shapes, you can just export the picture and it's done. So how do you do this effect? Basically you need to make a shape. Once you made the shape, you hold Alt and you duplicate the main artwork. You put it on top and now hold Alt and this little square will pop up and you press it. So now they are somehow connected and on this picture you have to add Gaussian blur and filter filter and on this shape you have to add stroke drop shadow and outer glow I'm gonna show you how to do it first of all we go to filter we go to blur Gaussian blur I use 15 you can see it's already blurred a little bit now you go to filter filter gallery you go to distort, glass, you put as glass, distortion I put 5, smoothness I put 3, texture frosted, scaling 100, you press ok. But those settings are just for me, you can experiment how you want. Now you go to shape, you right click and press blending options. We add a stroke, so to actually see the glass. To make the effect that it somehow reflects a little bit of light. Basically I I did it's complicated. Basically it goes from transparent to white, from transparent to white to like this, but you can just put fill type gradient and you can just put it as black and white and to get rid of the black you go to blend mode and you put it as screen. And you will have like a white line here which will work also. Now you add outer glow, opacity 35, noise 4, vivid light, softer, spread 0, size 166, and you add drop shadow. You add it as multiply, opac opacity, opacity 40, angle 90, distance 164, spread 42, 
size 196 noise 8 but those those measurements are my choice so so experiment yourself if you want and now you see you have a whole glass effect shape which you can move around and change up another way to make it is you see this glass shape which i got from dude clay it has like the these sides this is how it looks you can see it's a little bit of 3d how to make similar to that effect is to make shape again again duplicate the art hold alt press the square and now go to rectangle blending options and go to bevel and emboss and now you see it starts to pop off and you can play around with these settings and you will see how it starts to change you see it's not very good but if you play around with the settings you actually might be able to get very similar effect hope you guys enjoyed this video again link in the description to download these shapes with effects if you have any problems hit me up on instagram make some fire art Thank you.